Hi everyone, Sherman here and today I'm going to do a review on my O-Knife Freeze 3. Now this review is a long time coming as I started my journey to the uh, knife world in uh, with this Freeze 3 blade that I bought from RJ store online on Shopee. So if you guys uh, would like to buy a good knife search for RJ store online and uh, they sell really really good knives and this freeze tree it's still one of my favorite knives uh, as you can see here it's a Damascus blade the blade itself is really nice I don't think you can see it really clearly but uh, let's see if I can shine a torch light on it so you guys can see like uh, how the blade looks like Damascus blade you can see there are patterns which are formed by the uh, folding of the steel you guys can see this okay now you can see these patterns right these patterns are formed by the folding of the steel okay I'm going to turn it to the other side you can see that uh, it's actually a, a number as well that number is the uh, number of the blade or the number of the pocket knife which uh, has a serial number all of them so it's a limited edition run you can see that this blade itself is really nice so the G10 handle scales are also really nice just have a look inside uh, the inner liners are milled out they are stainless steel so it reduces the weight although it's a you know it's relatively quite a huge knife the weight is not I mean it doesn't feel heavy in your hand in fact the balance is really good and that's one thing that's great about this knife so yeah so I had I have had this knife for about uh, a year plus now and that's how long I've uh, started on my uh, pocket knife collection journey to the knife world and I still really really like this freeze tree it's not something that I'm gonna get rid of anytime soon this Damascus blade obviously now I have uh, more knowledge of steel uh, it has I think something like a VG10 or a nice ERMOV14 kind of steel uh, combination it's not actually the best steel when you combine these two steels together sometimes you might actually cause them to uh, how should I say uh, fracture more easily because of where the steels combine and the layering is where you can see the layering here okay the layering of the steel because the steel is actually full Damascus you can see that even on the uh, on the edge itself okay on the edge itself you can see the layering of the Damascus, right? Not sure if you guys can see this. My camera is being really annoying today, unfortunately. But uh, and basically, the Damascus continue not on just the blade, but continue on to the, uh, the, the top as well. So if you have those fake knives that use fake Damascus, I mean, uh, they actually have them etched on top as just a pattern and it's not really made of steel Damascus is basically two steels uh, combined together and then rolled together to form these patterns that you see on this blade so this blade is really shiny now because I put some silicone spray on it I've talked about it in my uh, Kaiser Sheepdog video as well as this olive oil to make uh, the blade really really shiny now it's more like a mirror finish uh, I can see myself which is great because I use this to shave uh, my board head okay uh, previously it was not as sharp okay one of the complaints I had the factory edge that came with this knife wasn't sharp at all but now you can see that uh, it actually cuts my hair right you can see the hair gets stuck down there okay so it's really good for shaving especially for uh, people with a board cut like me so I just have to like scrape it on top I don't even have to angle it much it's like a comb right 
basically it really really is like home and after you've done that you just take a tissue paper and you wipe it off and because uh, like i said i have a silicone protection layer on it so it's really good for shaving right uh you can use it to replace your shaver like your uh, disposable razors you know and this saves a lot of money right the only problem is uh, you have to know how to sharpen it because one of the criticisms I have of this knife like I said it came really unsharpened what uh, I needed to do is to use this sharpened Kuromoku you can see here uh, this made in Japan wet store has a 2000 grit uh, surface so what I needed to do was basically scrape this on the surface at an angle which is uh, basically the edge angle and not to you have to make sure not to scratch the blade I actually had some scratches on it so you it you know because it's a mirror finish it doesn't look as good anymore but uh, for what's worth it's still really nice right so uh, my only tip is that you try to get it at an angle that is slightly more uh, it's higher right it's higher to the the, 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 the wet stone so that you don't accidentally scratch the edge while you are shaving it or while you're sharpening it right and it works really well at this angle as well especially if you want to use it as a razor blade to shave your head because you're gonna put it at this angle anyway you're not gonna put it at a, such a low angle and risk cutting your own skin right so you put it at this angle and then when you shave you sort of like not push it down and then you just let it over over your head it's really easy it's just like a, basically it's really just like a comb right so it's just excellent right you can see it like the, the my sweat uh, now dripping off the blade uh, and then you can see some hair here i'm not sure if you can see okay let's see if you guys can see it ah damn it okay let's see if we can get a focus on that ah you can see that right uh, gee i don't know why it just refuses to focus there we go you can see that hair there so it cuts really well right especially for a shaver and it saves a lot of money for you guys who are actually shaving and uh, especially for my nail followers out there and those who are more this will save you guys a lot of money so this is really one of my favorite knives i started with it I didn't like it so much at first because the blade wasn't sharp and then I sharpened it with the Kuromoku Sharpton Kuroma, Kuromoku Wadstone and this becomes uh, this became uh, my daily you know everyday carry knife to be able to basically comb my hair <laughs> it's not a comb okay it's to shave my head every day and uh, if you guys are bored you know that you have to shave it more than once a day and then this knife because it's just so great and fidgety you can just you know play with it you can uh, use the flipper tap to deploy the knife or you can even use uh, this fuller here to deploy the knife okay but the knife blade is kind of heavy so if you use the fuller don't expect it to you know don't expect a spidey flick out just like with the uh, sheepdog so i actually bought a sheepdog uh, this one is more of a showroom piece like a sheepdog as well i wanted to mention that uh, because of the damascus blade but like i said because i scratched the blade so i'm not so like uh, you know i just don't want to just put it there for a showroom purpose anymore i'm going to use it more to shave uh, it has more of a functional purpose now and it's again it's my first blade and since i have the kaiser sheepdog uh, that replaced this uh, freeze tree as the showroom piece right so uh, right now this one it's very very good and very very functional for me i would say and even though uh i guess if you guys want to use it as a showroom piece it's just exceptional in that as well you can see that it has this old light ring here that's really nice and then it has of course some of you don't like the old light uh, logo but it has this really nice uh damascus uh, shine to it right and this mirror finish is just excellent okay i'm gonna get okay there you go so 
don't know why the Damascus isn't shining as well as last time I guess it's because of the silicone spray and the oil that I put on it so it's not as like it doesn't have the rainbow effect but if you just get it out of the box and you guys really don't want it to just cut stuff then you can just use it as a showroom piece and you get that rainbow effect right just put it there it's not sharp who cares uh, it's a good showroom piece but if you guys want to use it just like I do then sharpen it and then it's a really good blade for shaving right shaving excellent excellent blade for shaving the weight is awesome I even my sheepdog can't beat this weight right it doesn't have a sharp like a like a tip as no, I mean it's a bit sharp but it's not sharp as the sheepdog so it's just excellent for shaving and like I said the action is just awesome as well although it's heavy so it's not as great uh, action as my Kaiser sheepdog but still quite good action because it's also Kaiser made right I don't know if you guys know but old knives are actually also made by Kaiser so old knife is the sub brand of O light and O light uses Kaiser for its uh, knives right for its own knives <laughs> if that makes sense so excellent knife uh, the pocket clip is also kind of good it has this uh, u-shaped thing that goes in your pocket really well it's a deep carry you can see it goes all the way here and only this two little triangle comes out of your pocket uh, so if you guys want to put it in your pocket i don't because it's kind of heavy i will just put it in my bag and uh, if i ever need to bring it around but usually i just leave it uh, near my washroom when i want to shave i can just deploy it and then shave my head so excellent knife for shaving just like a razor blade uh, like I said sharpen it it'll be a razor and besides that uh, let me just use a piece of paper here to show you guys how sharp the knife is it doesn't come like this especially when uh, when you get it from the factory but uh, it is much sharper you can see here right there you go it's not as sharp as uh i would say my uh kaiser sheet dog obviously that is a uh, this is a damascus steel isn't as sharp oh i guess it, it got a bit dull now but uh yeah it doesn't hold and age really well so i guess that's that's one of the complaints i have but then again, I've been using this to shave a lot, so I can't really like complain too much. So I need to actually sharpen it on uh, my uh, Kuromoku, my sharpened Kuromoku again. So guys, like I said, this blade steel, this Damascus, I don't know what steel they are using, but it's just not that great, okay? It's not that great. Just uh, look at this. It doesn't... I mean, it doesn't cut as well, even though this is already better than a factory edge, right? So I'm actually quite surprised. Maybe because it's oily as well, because uh, I just shaved. So, uh, yeah. So, criticisms, like I said, it's oily, it's a bit heavy. Uh, the action, it's not that great because it's heavy. And yeah, I guess that's all for all the negatives. Right? For the positives, it's just uh, excellent balance, excellent shaver, uh, it cuts relatively well after sharpening, I guess. Okay, maybe I should use it as a negative because, yeah, it just doesn't retain its edge. But uh, positives, like I said, it looks really nice, especially if you don't sharpen it and you maintain that Damascus steel blade. Um, yeah i guess uh that's all but uh oh yeah the spacer there's no like uh, spaces here there's no back spacer here so i never had problems with it in my back so it doesn't i mean it's not that sharp so it's not gonna cut stuff uh, i think yeah so other than that the presentation the box you can see here the o knife box i did uh, unboxing video i'm gonna link it down below 
uh, it's really good it's really presentable it has a pocket uh, like it has this uh, docket to put in your it's a pouch sorry to put in your knife it has a cloth which I actually use very often it has a really nice presentable box that you can use as a gift box uh, I mean if you give this to someone this is so much better than a Kaiser knife that doesn't have that presentation and that awesome feel to it so yeah I would totally recommend a free tree if you can still get it uh, I think they have the ones with the green scales now you can get that as well uh, the knife itself is good but you must like the color right I personally like the blue and black color it looks like a toy more uh, and it's not as threatening so you can just bring it around and say it's a cool right and it's not even sharp so um, yeah i love it for what it is um, i guess i will end it here if you guys want to know more about this free stream please comment down below and if you like reviews like this and or you want me to do other stuff uh, please give me a thumbs up subscribe and click that notifications bell I'll see you guys soon thank you so much guys thank you